Welcome back to GeoEpics. Today we're going to be looking into how, how to do a stratigraphic column. So let's just jump right into this. I went out hiking at Mount Crystal Ray and this is the Annapur Sandstone. So I'm going to show you guys the pictures from bottom to top of this uh, these alternating beds of basically shale and sandstone. So as you can see right here on the bottom, that's the shaley part. And then it alternates and goes to this uh, this highly weathered sandstone, fine, fine grain sandstone, and then it alternates back to the shell right here, and then alternates right back to the sandstone. And you know, the coloration of the sandstone is pretty much the same. You know, th this had some slick insides on it, so that obviously it's been faulted. And then it alternates right back to the shell, and then it alternates right back into sandstone. So when you're doing a stratigraphic column, you know, you're basically drawing <sighs> simply put you're, you're just doing base a basic sketch and I'll show you guys what how mine came out right now but you know you'll this is fine grain so you'll make your uh, you'll make your box for the, the shell much smaller than what you would for the fine grain sandstone it'll be a little bit bigger a little bit wider uh, for the sandy parts and it alternates um, the descriptions are pretty much the same for each uh, each unique not unique each layer of this uh, anapper sandstone and th this sandstone just so you guys know is a beach sandstone uh, during the Cretaceous you had the Cretaceous interior seaway come through this portion of the country and that'll pop up when I'm editing I'll have this pop up the Cretaceous interior seaway this was the beach and you had dinosaur footprints you, you have dinosaur footprints on the Annapolis sandstone so the dinosaurs were walking alongside the beach during this time and this is how my uh, my quick stratigraphic column came out so I described the shell as kind of nodular shell and it didn't have the facility so I don't know if you would even call it a shell it's definitely a silty uh, maybe a sil silty s shell more silty shell it was gray you know you had small sand laminations in that bottom layer and then the next layer is about one foot thick one foot eight inch thick with small slick and lines it was red brown orange it's been weathered if you want a better description of the of the actual rock you get your rock hammer and you start breaking rock to see an unweathered surface I didn't do that but I did define, you know, fine sandy s sandstone. And as you can see, you know, it, it's fine grain, kind of, sh it's a shell. So I make the box smaller for the shell and then the box for a fine sandstone is gonna be a little bit bigger. Um, if it's coarse, it comes all the way out here, you know, in comparison to the shell. And then this second shell layer is basically the same description as this one, except it's six inches well actually both of them are about six inches I had measuring tape with me and then you have two feet thick uh, a, a two foot thick layer of sandstone fine sand and it's highly weathered and then the the same description for the next layer of the silt the shale and then it caps off with a two foot thick fine sandstone so it's simple but uh, you could probably add you know that the shells even though they had all the same descriptions it was a nodular looking shell and not the facility you know the 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 plate looking shells that you you're more accustomed to you know and you know i just wanted to show you guys what that looks like and then this is a quick video that didn't record but i just wanted to show you an actual video of the of the outcrop and the Annapur sandstone is actually pretty fascinating. Cretaceous age, like I said, you know, dinosaurs were walking on it. And I'll show you guys the dinosaur footprints real quick. They might be a little bit difficult to see, but yes, th this has uh, footprints from Iguanodon and Pachycephalosaurus and other types of dinosaurs that they've been able to identify. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty interesting. Let's see if I can find a, here's one right here. You know, th there's something like 40 different tracks in just this outcrop of uh, dinosaur footprints. So, you know, it's, it's pretty interesting stuff. I think this is one right here. The bigger ones, the larger impressions onto this Anapra sandstone, 
were iguanodon. They had the big, uh, big old feet. So, yeah, that's this week's Geo Epics episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 